How can you protect yourself from hackers and make your internet safe again? Because maybe you saw the news, Wi-Fi encryption can be hacked and anyone can spy on your internet activity. Because there is a big flaw in the standard Wi-Fi encryption. So um, the WPA2 protocol has like a huge door where any hacker can go through without knowing the password. So yeah, it's good if you have a password, but yeah, hackers don't care that there is a hack. And by now every hacker probably downloaded the um, code to exploit this. So if you use Wi-Fi to enter the internet and if you're like me, um, I'm using all kind of Wi-Fi hotspots during the day. And um, yeah, especially phones are quite endangered. And um, also in Forbes, you can read this crack hack kills your Wi-Fi privacy. And uh, basically it's in all the news. Also The Guardian and Britain, all Wi-Fi networks are vulnerable to hacking security experts discovers. So, um, and also on Wired, I mean, those guys should know, um, there's a big flaw in the secure Wi-Fi and they go on explaining why um, this is a problem. What most of those articles don't explain is how you can protect yourself now. And actually within a few minutes you can have like a military grade security internet connection. So the trick is to use your own encryption or actually using a virtual private network with a military grade encryption. So. Um, b below the video, by the way, I will, uh, if you click on show more, I will add a list with VPN providers. Well, actually, this is not a good example. Um, I think I will uh, change the order. But um, basically, I use ExpressVPN. And actually, at the moment, I'm using ExpressVPN to log into um, Germany. And um, just to explain what a VPN is, and it's basically a software which encrypts all all the data going to your Wi-Fi router and and through the internet. And um, basically, hackers cannot enter this tunnel, kind of, or this encryption. Also, governments cannot enter this, and also internet service providers cannot see exactly what you're doing there. And maybe you um, heard about this. Uh, like in the US, the Senate passed a law which allows internet service providers to sell the data um, of your internet use. So, you know, if you're going to certain websites, maybe suddenly you get a lot of emails from certain for certain products or services or, you know, even letters in the mail. And uh, if you're wondering how this works, you know, it's like just ask your internet service providers what kind of information they sold on. But with a good VPN, such as ExpressVPN, for example, this should not be a problem. So how strong is the encryption for VPN? So basically, um, for ExpressVPN, I mean, you can visit the page. I, I have the link just below in the description of the video. They use the advanced encryption standard with 256-bit uh, keys, which is also used by US government and used by security experts worldwide, according to their information. But um, I believe that this is quite, uh, quite a good security system. And according to their information, it takes quite a long time. If you have, even if you have a mega supercomputer, which doesn't exist yet, uh, it would take very, very long time to um, crack the the key and they use other um, safety standards to make sure that no one can see what exactly you're doing and uh, by the way so if you use an android system there and there are plugins for your phone and your tablet and you, you just have to uh, sign up on the website and and get the product key and also for itunes they have free software here, a free app, uh, but you, then you need the software key to make it work. And as, as I said, just you know, below the video, you, 
can uh, use the link to go there. And I just show you how easy this is. Like I disconnect now. The, the, the good thing is you can decide where you want to enter the internet because you're not using your normal internet service provider login or access point for the internet. So um, if you're traveling a lot, for example, you still can log in to the US and, um, and then use US media services because maybe you already noticed if you want to use Netflix um, or like other TV, TV stations or pay TV stuff outside the US, it doesn't work. You can use ExpressVPN or for example, if you want to use uh, basic things such as YouTube, Google and so on in countries like China, without a VPN, it's basically impossible. And this works and, and you can use all kinds of countries. Maybe um, you're from, you wanna use some Mexican media, then you can connect to Mexico and then suddenly you enter the uh, internet in Mexico and you get the Mexican ads and you get, you know, you can access Mexican media stuff because basically all um, TV stations and so on use um, ge and geo blocking nowadays. So if you're not in the country, you cannot access the media in this country usually. And um, well, but the best thing is that no one can actually see what you're doing. And you can um, define this so you always connect or ExpressVPN always starts automatically and always connects you via the v VPN with the internet. So basically you can make all your connections um, completely encrypted and safe. <clears throat> And with ExpressVPN, you can have several connections at once. So if you're using your uh, telephone, your tablet, and your laptop at once, well, if you manage to do this, then it's no problem with ExpressVPN. You just have to install the apps or the um, software on all devices, add your um, product key, and then you can be completely safe. No one can spy on you. And you don't have to worry about the big, so, uh, big problem with Wi-Fi security, especially if you use public Wi-Fi hotspots.